The 26 and 39 Phoenix Suns star Devin Booker averaging 26 points per game on track to join LeBron James and Oscar Robertson as the only players with multiple seasons averaging 26 points per game and six assists before the age of 24. However, his team... 7-21 and 21 against teams with winning records this season. No bueno. Max, I'll start with you here. Do you feel like Booker is wasting his time with the Phoenix Suns? No, not exactly, no. I mean, you know, look, could he be in a better organization? Would he have more success? Yeah, probably, sure, okay. But does that mean he's wasting his time with the Suns? Look, Booker is, if you're a max contract type player, um, and you're an all-star type player, and you have other of those kind of guys on your team, DeAndre Ayton, you know, and, you, and it's not like you have no talent on the team. Sure, you can look to the organization and the coach. Maybe the same assemblage of, of, of you know, uh, of talent would um, do better elsewhere in another organization with a better coach. But part of the issue is, while he's an excellent scorer, especially for his age, as you point out, Molly, and he's a pretty efficient scorer, uh, uh, especially considering his usage rate is quite high, he is an all-star. He's not an MVP caliber player, at least not yet. And if you have a max, if you have a couple of guys like that as your best player, and they're both all-stars in the West, you may contend for a playoff spot. You may or you may not make it. Um, but, but the lack of greater team success, some of the accountability has to be placed upon the best player on the team. Were he better, the team would be better. So would he be better off in a lot of other destinations? Sure, it could be worse off in one or two destinations at least also. But I, I don't say you can say he's wasting his best years with the Suns, particularly when his best years probably haven't occurred yet. I'm going to sound a little bit harsh only because I, I disagree with you because I don't trust management with the Phoenix Suns. And by that, I specifically mean the owner, Robert Sarver. I'm not sold. Um, but, but I will say this. I love the hire of Monty Williams. Uh, the season wasn't even finished yet. There were 17 games to go, guys, and there was already a seven-game improvement uh, led by Monty Williams. I love the, Cole, uh, the Kelly Oubre addition. Uh, to the squad. I think he shows a lot of promise. I think it was a mistake for the Wizards to lose him, to be quite honest with you. And then you got DeAndre Ayton. What the, the, the knock against him is that he's not Luka Doncic or Trey Young, but the brother is averaging 19 to 12. Got, you, know, you know, he was out for a while, missed about 30, 32 games. Uh, but no, no, there's no question that they've got some young talent. I love the fact that Monty Williams is the coach, and I think that he's somebody that people will want to come and play for. And, and God bless him and his family after the tragedy that they had to endure, uh, losing his wife in an auto accident. But I'm here to tell you something right now. He can really, he can, he can coach. He knows the game of basketball, and I think any player would be interested in playing for him. But if your owner is such a huge, huge question mark, then that's a problem. Consider what, consider what the Phoenix Suns were. When Mike D'Antoni was there, okay, you had something special with him and Steve Nash. Now, obviously, Steve Kerr came there as a GM before he landed the job as a coach with the Golden State Warriors, and he tried to convince uh, 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 Mike D'Antoni, I'm sorry, to hire Tom Thibodeau as his, you know, basic co defensive coordinator. Tom Thibodeau wasn't interested in that. I'm sorry, not, I'm sorry, Mike D'Antoni wasn't interested in that. As a result, Thibodeau ended up in Boston with Doc Rivers. They won a championship in 2008. That could have easily been the Phoenix Suns if Mike D'Antoni uh, wasn't so rigid uh, and strong-willed about his approach to the game of basketball. But nevertheless, that is what it is. They haven't been the same since Steve Nash and Mike D'Antoni departed. And I think that's because of Sarver. In the end, Mike DeMonte Williams again can coach. I think Devin Booker is a star, and I think the reason why he's not an MVP candidate is because their team is not good. If their team was good, Devin Booker is the kind of dude that can lead the charge. He's averaging 26 a game. He shoots like 47, 48% from the field, about 36% from three-point range. He's got a handle. He can get to the basket. He can shoot long range. He's got a strong NBA body. He's got tremendous, tremendous promise. He's that dude. I'm praying praying. I doubt that it'll happen, but I'm praying that the New York Knicks find a way to trade for him because he was a Leon Rose client. I really wish that something like that could happen. I love Devin Booker. I think he's got that kind of game, but the environment that you're in sometimes can sully what your abilities uh, can ultimately bring to the table, and that's really the problem, and that's why I'm not sold on him staying with Phoenix. I don't, I, I don't want to say the word waste because of Monty Williams. Nothing is a waste as a player with Monty Williams. But your owner does matter, and at least in recent memory, Sarver does not have 
the greatest reputation. Maybe it's a, maybe it's not his fault. Maybe there's things that we don't know. We get all of that. But his yeah. reputation around the league is not huh. that great right now. Let me stay yeah, with way, that Sarver's sentiment. Max, and, uh, Everyone and knows Sarver's. Go ahead. Go ahead, Max. Sorry. Finish your point. I would just say Sarver is terrible. Everyone knows Sarver was terrible. When he bought the team, he had an excellent roster and then thought that Phoenix was there for a hot destination for players. It's a warm weather city. They were doing really well. They had an offense, the whole thing. And it turns out he was wrong. He made all these moves for cap space. No one wanted to come and take his money. So he's among the worst owners in the NBA, Stephen A. I agree with you there. I'm just looking at the talent on the squad right now and why they're on the outside looking in of the playoff bubble. Given that and given Devin Booker's age, I wouldn't say he's wasting it with the Suns. Get back to me in a couple of years. Maybe then I'll change my answer. All right. Tell me this. Stephen A., where would you like to see him go? I just said it. I would love to see Devin Booker in New York. I think that he has the kind of talent where he belongs on the big stage. Now, obviously, when you say big stage, you're thinking about New York, Madison Square Garden, not necessarily James Dolan. Because, again, if you're going from Sarver to Dolan, I, I, I can't make a strong case that that would be an upgrade at this moment in time. But, again, I'm going to place some faith in Leon Rose and, and World Wide West. I'm going to think that, you know what, there are things that things are on an up, uphill swing and that anything could potentially happen. But you need a guy that can put the ball in the hole and everybody knows night in, night out as a number one option. This is somebody that you have to reckon with because he's got those kind of skills. I believe that is Devin Booker. I believe that Devin Booker is a star in this game. And I think the problem is he's in Phoenix. If you put him on a big stage in an NBA city, I think he can make some things happen. I don't think there's any question about it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.